are going on here where you're at. Yeah. So I'm just going to make a clamp down so that you know I can clamp that like that. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. We'll put that aside. Last night I made this bad boy right here. Uh, when I got the Harbor Freight Mill, it didn't have a chuck key. And I had an extra one for the Grizzly. I just I just didn't have the heart to cut it up, so to change it to fit something else, especially when I'm going to try to sell this uh, Harbor Freight Mill. In fact, it is up for sale. Um, I'm trying to raise the money to get my Grizzly uh, Mill. So, but anyway, I made that, and it didn't take me but about, I don't know, uh, half hour at the most. And I just started off with a round piece of steel that was on um, something to do with a tractor. So if it's on a tractor, I would imagine it's hard enough to do something with. And if you wanted to make it really hard, you can uh, heat that up and quench it in uh, oil and that'll make it nice and hard but for no more than I'm going to be using it I really don't care what whether I have to make another one it only took me half hour to do it so I can just make another one so uh, I just turned that down in steps 20,000 uh, steps until I got down to the end and I turned this to three-eighths from corner to corner. That gave me a three-eighths round place. And then I mic'd each side as I took it in on the grinder and grinded it down. It didn't take very long to do it either. And um, then I took, turned it around and grounded the other side to where I'm looking down at it and it's pretty straight and then measured it until I got it right. Then I come around and did the same thing to that side. So I'm going to make one of those on camera and let you see how I did it. Alright, so now that we're over here at the lathe and we've got it chucked up in the three jaw chuck, uh, basically I just do half of it sticking out and the uh, first thing I'll do is clean it up because it's not straight and I'll clean it up to about right here uh, which is uh, somewhere around one inch yeah I think we'll make it the same so we'll do We'll go to it. Let's see. We can make it whatever we want. I can do it an inch and three eighths. No big deal. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check our chuck, make sure it's not hung up, and we're going to try to make a mark on this right where we want it. how wobbly that is. Alright, now we've got an idea of where we want to go to. So, now we're going to clean this up.
we can do one more. Now that we're over here at the grinder, we've got our width set in the um, in the caliper, and um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in on the side here, like so, and then I'm just gonna come in and kind of keep it straight. And the way I'm keeping it straight is I'm taking this part and lining it up with that little line right there on the using it as a reference. So, as long as I keep that straight, I should be good. So, the end of this grinder will give me that little round surface to kind of transition this into the piece. So, now we've got to get this down to um, flat on each side, all four corners. So, let's get started. So, here's what we have so far. We've got that piece made, and they're a little different sizes. And um, now we've got to do the handle. Now, this is where the center hole comes into play that you drilled. So, um, we're going to use that to our advantage. So, we have a rod that is coated, and it measures 23 sixty-fourths. So, I've chosen a drill bit that is 45 So, um, we're going to use this drill bit, but first we got a center drill. So we got that drill bit sitting there on the bottom. Now we're going to stick our center drill in, and we're going to move this out of y'all's way because I think it hinders. I don't need that one anyway. Alright, so now we're going to see if that light blinds you guys, and it does. And then we're going to put that in there just like that. 
Well, first I need to um, do a center punch. I'm going to center punch it where I want it. All right, now that we've got it center punched, I just did a little center punch here. And um, we're going to line that up. And then we're just going to finger tight that. And we're just going to line it up by eyeball. I'm behind you guys looking at it. All right. So now we need to raise our table up. We're not tightening the vise yet. We're going to bring this up. And I don't think my tripod is tall enough. So let's see if we can block you guys up a little bit. And I'm using my bison built um, camera mount and I really I, I'm starting to use it as my go-to uh, go-to camera mount all right so now we're going to line that up we're going to bring this down and we're going to line that up in that direction But we want to find center first. So we're going to line this up to the center of that hole. Alright. And we're just a hair off. Alright, right there is center. Now all it is, is just, now that we've got this centered, now all we got to do is bring this over. To our mark, loosen your vise, and turn that until the center point goes right into your uh, hole that you punched. And then we're going to tighten it up. And now we've got that cranked down. And then we'll double check it. And it's right on the money. So now we're going to do the drilling. Guess my battery don't die on me. Winds are blowing like crazy out there today. All right, so now we're going to center drill that. Now I like to go down in it far enough to where I start seeing wood coming up out of it really good. Uh, that way you know that the whole tamper is through the uh, piece. So now we take that out. And then I'm going to take it over and file this area right here where it pushed out. You can see that where it's pushed out right there on the edges. And then we're going to drive our pan in. Now I hope I didn't go the wrong size. And I did. I'll be daggone it. Alright, well that can be fixed. So what I'm going to have to do on this one, I went the wrong size. I thought I did. Um, I measured wrong. Uh, that fits too loose. I can do one of two things. I can either mushroom both these sides, flatten them, which that, well, actually wouldn't be a bad idea. I can have one that's tight and is a T handle, and then I can make one with, that'll give me more leverage. That'll work. So we're going to go over and and grind the edges of these and make them chamfered and then we're going to mash the ends of these so we'll meet you at the vise so now we're over here at the vise and I can't believe I cut that or drilled that too big I it. 
Anyway, now we're going to take and chamfer that off of this here grinder. And now we're going to take a file and we're just going to file this nut wind out there. We're going to file that. So now I've got two choices. You know, I can have one that um, moves back and forth like these, like the vise. So now we're going to take and hit that with a big old hammer. We got her cleaned up. Now we wire wheel it. Alright, so now you can see the one I made yesterday. And this one fits tight in there, so it's like a T handle. And it's exactly the same process as what I just did for this one, except this time, I, or this one. I used a smaller drill bit. What the hell I was thinking. So, anyway, now I have two choices. You know, I've got one that has a handle for leverage, if you ever need that much leverage, and one that don't. So, those will be two things that will go with the uh, mill when I sell it. So, uh, a little bit of paint on them and they look pretty good. You know, I might blue them. I might just take and uh, take all that coating off of it and blue them. I don't know yet. Probably not. Too lazy. <laughs> anyway, uh, an up upcoming project is. That bad boy. We're going to be doing pulley weights. That was the whole point of me making the uh, lathe, lathe dog. And um, we're going to try to make these. So let me show you what my mount looked like after I got done with it. So let me show you the mount after I got done with it. You know, and this is a handy item. I like it. And then I just took some um, linoleum, some real thick linoleum, put it around there, and um, just cut out the, the piece in the middle so that it was up off of the table so it wouldn't scratch tables or anything like that if I want to use it in the kitchen or counter or something like that or in my office I can do that or in my case yesterday in the bathroom when I started the video series on doing doing a toilet and um, then we've got this piece up here I just kind of made these here look nice and pretty milled them as you can see the mill marks and I made that and it's looking pretty good and it works great and then I added something to this one I added these screws on it and basically the reason I did that I put them there so that they were always going to be there that way in case I want to add something to this maybe another bracket that holds something you never know some people use external batteries and and or charger batteries and stuff like that 
you might be able to make a bracket for it to put up here or, or down here come down so it's got the potential and this is the one I use most of the time because it fits just about in every area I mean if I go back here to the mill you can see it fits right there you're not going to get no tripod in here so that's why the, I, I like this thing because you can just put it basically anywhere you want you can put it there uh, and you can set it right there if you want not that you would because it'd be in the way of your handle but you know you get the idea you know and I'd like to have a tall one you know I can put it anywhere here so anyway so there you have my um, chuck key and they fit really well in fact the one I just made fits better than this one does so this one looks better this one here uh, I should have went with uh, like a nine degree angle and that would have got me a little closer but that's the name of the game you're learning what you need to do to make something and make it look right so I just learned that you know I need to do a nine degree instead of a ten degree so um, if you ever make one nine degree seems to be a pretty decent uh, step down and it might be different for a bigger chuck, like um, or chuck key. Like you got three different sizes. This one here is just a hair bigger than the. This is from a four jaw chuck on the Grizzly, and you can see they did a shitty job on that. Um, it's it's just rough. There's no smoothness to it. But they spend a little bit more time on the three jaw chuck. So I'm, I'm venturing to say that the three jaw chuck and the four jaw chuck came from two different companies instead of uh, the same company that made them because they just got two different styles of making these. Um, so you know, you just, it may change. That was loose in the hole. But there you go. I'll get some pictures of it and we'll post them up on the uh, YouTube here and let you guys see how I make a chuck key. I would suggest hardening yours. So you guys have a good one. Later.